Good evening, and welcome to Albert's Voice, Solar, and everything else. So, here we got. This is the uh, this is for your um, solar panels. You put this on the positive side, and you connect it to your solar generator um, on the positive side. This would be for my for in my case is a twenty amp fuse. So let me open it up and show you. Okay, so this is what you got. You got an MC4 uh, male connector with a female connector on the other end. So you unscrew the top. So you can see by unscrewing the top, let's do with this. So this is the fuse. It's a twenty-five. It's a twenty-six amp, one thousand DC. That's what the push it in like so. I have to hold the camera and do this at the same time. Let me pause it from here. Okay, so basically, once you get the top on, you have to push it in. Oh, it came off again. All right, let me try it again. Okay, right hand is to turn it, tighten it. Okay, now it's completely on it. So now you just go to the male lead from the positive side. I actually have done it already. Okay, you're not gonna see, I have to go closer. Okay, there it is. So that's that's all you need to connect. That's the positive side. You need a that's a diffuse protector to protect the solar panel. And since I have it coming in from one strand, that's all you have to do is protect one. You should need comes to arise, but you should have this in there for safety precaution. Same thing when it goes to your solar generator that you created or you built from scratch. You need, you need inland fuses to protect everything. It's good to get in and have it. It comes with one extra fuse. Now, well, I have two extra fuses. <laughs> but uh, I just wanted to show you about that because I think a lot of us um, don't catch up on these extra features that we need to um, attend to. This is the MC4, male and female. Uh, fuse protector adapter, which is very easy to install. Okay, well, thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and if you like the video, oops, there you go. Bye for now.